Hello and welcome back to Sleep Hacks, where we give you simple tips to sleep better at night so you can tackle your days as your best self. In today's episode, we are going to dive into something that many of us have experienced, but not so many understand. So picture this, you're lying in bed, getting cozy, you're almost asleep, and suddenly you feel like you are on the downward hill of a roller coaster. You jolt up, sometimes even gasping for breath. I know I've been there and it is kind of funny to watch it happen to someone, I have to admit, but when that someone is you, not so funny. So let's figure out what's going on with this. There are all kinds of myths surrounding the sensation of falling when you're asleep. I remember an old tale of, you know, you have to wake up from the falling sensation before you hit the ground, and if you don't, you die. And I think that's a little extreme. So let's find out what's really going on. While more research needs to be conducted to find out exactly why we all have experienced this, or at least most of us, there is an anthropological theory that our ancestors slept in trees and their bodies became trained to warn them of potential falls. And that is a good theory, I think. Way better than falling in your sleep and dying when you wake up or don't wake up. <laughs> we do at least know what is happening physiologically in the body when we experience these hypnic jerks. Hypnic jerks occur in up to 70% of people, so you really should not panic when you experience them. They're essentially involuntary twitches that occur in the initial stages of REM sleep. Your body feels jolts while you're asleep or almost asleep, and your mind interprets those jolts as some kind of warning or reaction to falling. I can safely say the only times that I have felt like I'm falling and I was actually falling, I was in a twin bed, so I don't think I'm alone there. Now there are certain daytime habits that can make you more prone to experiencing these jolts. One would be exercising in the evening too late and too intensely. We've covered a lot about this in our video about how different exercises can impact your quality of sleep. So if this is new information to you, be sure to check that video out. Other potential triggers are caffeine, duh, and poor sleep habits, which might have you feeling like you're in a chicken or the egg situation. The good news is that you shouldn't be alarmed about experiencing this, even if it's kind of regularly. The only time you'll want to dive into this a little bit more is if you find that the jolts of waking up are not so much from the feeling of falling, but more so from airway restriction. And in that case, definitely seek medical advice and get tested for sleep apnea. As for the rest of us, track your daytime habits to see if there's any correlation to when this happens. And otherwise, ride this sleepy roller coaster together. All right, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all things sleep hacks. We'll see you next time and sleep well.